Harry Morozov is as excited as any four-year-old about the upcoming New Year's holiday. But Valery was born with biliary atresia, a rare liver disorder which has kept him in the hospital for much of his young life. Without a liver transplant, his doctors say that his condition is fatal. We were told he might live for a year, maybe two, maybe only three months. According to Russian law, children can only receive organs from close relatives. But Valery's parents, Tatiana and Kirill, can't donate their organs. Their blood types don't match his. The Morozovs did find a hospital in Belgium willing to do the transplant, but they would need to raise $120,000 for the operation. Not even part of the amount would be paid by the Russian healthcare system. When we learned how much it would cost, I cried. We decided that if we had to, we'd sell everything. Fortunately, they found a website which helps Russian families solicit donations for medical expenses. After two years, they had about two-thirds of the money they needed. Then the crisis came, and suddenly the money coming in was no longer $100, $200, but instead 10 maybe $15. Even though the worldwide economic downturn means people are giving less to charities here, conspicuous consumption is still in full swing. People are actually spending 12% more on New Year's gifts than last year. Grigory Mazmanyans from the Give Life Foundation says that despite their current spending habits, Russians are a generous people. We just need some time. We need time to, um, to change mentality. The Morozovs worry it won't happen soon enough. I try not to think of what might happen if the donations stop coming in. And time is something Valery and other sick Russian children just don't have. Dave Grout, CBS News, Moscow.